In this part of 8.7 day 1, we're going to be simplifying radical expressions. And here we're just going to be doing some of the basic simplifying radical expressions. We've seen some of these before. Uh, here we have a square root. Right over here we have a square root. We want to simplify that. We're going to look for perfect squares to take out. Well, 80 is divisible by 16, and you get 5. The square root of 16 is 4, so I get 4 root 5. That should be really easy. We remember that one, hopefully. Now, for 81, we're looking for perfect cubes or groups of three. Now if we're thinking about it as perfect cubes, my perfect cubes would be 8, 27, 64, 125, and, and beyond that we can figure those out, but basically we have 2 cubed, we have 3 cubed, 4 cubed, and 5 cubed. If you ever forget these, you can always take your calculator and do 5 cubed and that's 125. You know that that's the perfect cube. Well, for 81, I could either, we could see what we can divide this by. I think I can divide this by 27, and yes, I can. You're going to have 3 and 27. My cube root of 27 is 3, so I bring that out. So this right here, cube root of that is going right here. And then I have the cube root of, and this 3 right here goes back into the radical. Keep in mind, this is not like square root with a 3 by it. This is a cube root. This cube right here goes with the radical. It's a cube root, not a raised to the 3 square root or something weird like that. No, this is a radical here. This 3 goes with the radical. It's a cube root. So you have 3 times the cube root of 3. All right, this last one over here, if we were to break this one down, I can divide it by 2, and once again, I'm left with 27. So my cube root of 27 is 3. And whenever I have this negative here, I'm just going to take the negative out in front with it. Negatives aren't as uh, aren't a bad thing like they are with square roots. All right, because I could have negative 3 times negative 3 times negative 3 gives me negative 27. Well, then I have the cube root of, and this 2 right here is left over. Pop it in there. And we have negative 3 times the cube root of 2. This isn't negative 3 cubed. No, this cube right here, this goes with the radical that's with the 2. There's our basic simplifying rational expressions.